What's going on, you beautiful people? Welcome to the special edition of Flyers Talk Live. With We are a little bit live, but we're doing this quick special edition one. A little bit tight on time, but obviously, guys, as we all know, it is NHL Draft Day here for the Philadelphia Flyers. And the question is, what is Chucky and this front office thinking here today? What are they going to do? They obviously hold the number five overall pick in tonight's draft. But kind of similar to what the Sixers were going through literally less than two weeks ago, are they going to keep it? Are they going to trade it? I think this is a little bit different because I do think that when you look at the NHL draft and the number five overall pick, typically it's a piece that can help you down the line in the future, a stud piece, a cornerstone piece. Whereas a 23rd overall pick typically in the NBA draft isn't, isn't typically a cornerstone piece, especially for the Philadelphia 76ers who are in a much more advanced state, being that they're trying to win a championship, whereas the Flyers are just trying to be relevant. And that's really what we are talking about here today. What is it that the Flyers are going to do? What are they going to do to kind of become the first step of becoming relevant? Obviously, they have been in a down spot over the last few years, and and it's back. To, it's trying to get back to being a relevant hockey team yet again. Crazy day here in Philly sports. Obviously, it is Powder Blue Thursday. It's always exciting here for the Phillies as they try to get a series win against the Washington Nationals. And then the Philadelphia Union said, "Hey, hey, hold up, we got some news." breaking we got Sergio Santos going to Cincinnati you got Stuart Finley going to Oxford United and um, you got kids getting bought and sold and teach sexy seasons gone as well so on the day of the NHL draft we got a lot of news and a lot of news and notes to talk about real quick guys I just want to give a quick heads up a quick reminder do me a big solid hit the like button subscribe for more Philly sports talk we'll be back here tonight with uh, the Phillies game recap after the game here today against the Nationals so kick quick heads up as well and make sure you guys check out lots of watches as well Use my promo code Barcelo Philly at, at the checkout page for 10% off of your purchase of a La Terrain watch. All right, so when I'm looking at the number five overall pick, if they do keep it, and it does feel like they will keep this pick, and when I look at the Flyers as a whole, we the one thing that I will say, not really sure what the plan as a whole is with Chuck Fletcher and the Flyers, I will say this, they have talked about they need to get younger, they need to get faster. These are things that you clearly notice even last year with their struggles. So when I look at the potential of trading this this pick away, I feel like it's not conducive to trade this pick because you need young players. Like I get it, we want to win now, and this fan base is impatient and as they should be when you make bad mistake after bad mistake with this organization. That's what happens. But in the next couple of years... You're going to have an influx of some good high draft picks that can bring a cornerstone pieces to this franchise. Now, looking at pick number five, as you guys know, I'm not going to bullshit you guys. I'm not going to BS you guys whatsoever. I'm not a draft guy. Uh, I Just like every other fan, I look and see what are the potential prospects. And the three names that I, cl- I hear a lot linked to the Flyers at pick number five, um, Jirich, who is a defender, you have Savoy, who is a center, and Gaither, from my understanding, can play center and can play wing. So you do have some options here who can come in and help this team. Obviously, when you're the Flyers, you have a lot of needs. What I will say is I do think whoever they select here tonight, I don't expect them to come in day one and be a difference maker. It's not going to be that type of draft pick. But I do think that they can get someone who, will, within the year, after going through the system, gets that body right, gets them, get themselves NHL shape, can come in and help this team in possibly year two, which I think that can help. But I think I'm for myself, I'm leaning more towards keeping this pick. Um, again, you guys know my, you guys know how I'm ha- taking and handling this offseason. The Rangers blueprint, building this team like the New York Rangers, using this high draft pick to find a young piece that can help you, and that's going to be the pressure finding that guy at pick number five, which isn't always easy. Is it is always easy finding a stud piece at pick number five, but trusting your scouts and finding out who will fit this team. And obviously, it doesn't really matter what you select when you have needs at defense, when you have need at the forward lines. It'll definitely be interesting to see. Now, trading this piece, trading this pick, what what would that entail? Obviously, uh, Drink uh, Drink Fickett has been someone that has been linked heavily to trade rumors throughout the entire NHL. And could the Flyers be in on that? I don't think it would be conducive to go after him. If you're going to go for a star player that can kind of... Uh, I guess, fill the role that Claude left. Obviously, you're looking for a younger player in that type of role. Uh, I'm going in for Johnny Goudreau. Like, I think for me, like, Drimpicate is a great player. He's a great young player as well. 
Uh, obviously, it's not working out in Chicago, but I want Johnny. I think that Johnny is, is obviously in, in, a, in a still a prime position in his career, and I think that he can come in here understanding how the area works. And, and I, I, I don't like that Philly. I don't always fall for that Philly mentality stuff, but what I will say is he understands this fan base. He understands the city. He understands this organization. He understands what it takes. And I think that that can definitely help, but obviously Johnny's talented as all hell. <laughs> He's going to come in and be on that top line, and working with, with Tortorella would, would definitely be interesting. Uh, so I, for me, if I'm picking trading for Dream Kit or if I'm going and signing Johnny Hockey, I'm choosing signing Johnny Hockey, and I'm keeping this fifth overall pick, and that's just kind of how I look at it. And it's not set in stone. I think for right now, when you're looking at the Johnny Hockey negotiations, it's really going to come down to whether Johnny Hockey really wants to stick with Calgary. Obviously, the Flyers need to find the money to pay Johnny Hockey, but I think that the Flyers can find a way to do that and give Johnny Hockey the money that he would like. So I do think that that could be an option that is very viable as well. But obviously, a lot of moves need to be happening, and and, and I don't think that anyone believes that the Flyers can win a Stanley Cup this upcoming year. I think that's why they went after John Tortorella, because they need to set a a standard, they need to set a culture, they need to make themselves relevant yet again. And I think that John, uh, John Tortorella... It's going to be able to bring that again with the Philadelphia Flyers. But you you want to start building the pieces around. And the thing is, is that I, I, I'm not one of these people who think that, oh, if the Flyers are healthy, they will be a good team. Like I, It's hard for me at this point to sit here and say that if they stay healthy, they'll be fine. Like Health is a tough thing and you can't control it. Either you're healthy or you're not. Either you're available or you're not. And you can't always rely on that. So I'm not going to go off that. But... There are some good pieces here in Philadelphia that can compete within this within this league. Tough part is you are in the Metro, which year in, year out, you're always going up against some tough teams, the Rangers, the Penguins, the Islanders, the Caps. So it gets really tough to compete, but you have some pieces here. And I think that with Tortorella setting the tone, I think it's going to be fun. So we'll see what happens in here tonight's draft. Kind of wanted to give a little bit of a preview, a little bit of the thoughts, a little bit of what's been going on. Tony D'Angelo's been linked to the Flyers as well. He's obviously looking to get... Uh, a substantial contract. He had a solid year with the Carolina Hurricanes. I doubt the Hurricanes are going to want to pay money for him. Y'all know my thoughts on on, on Tony D'Angelo. Um, if they feel that he can mesh it within the locker room, it is what it is. I'm not a fan of him as a person, um, but obviously it's a business. I mean, hockey decisions, you typically throw that out the way, but that is a name that has been linked to the Philadelphia Flyers. But Flyers just need to find a culture. Right, they need to find that culture, need to find that mindset, and I and I think they got the coach, but they need to find the players that will happen. So, uh, we'll talk about the 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 whatever happens tonight. We'll talk about it tomorrow. But I kind of wanted to give you guys my thoughts on what's going down tonight in this little quick segment here, uh, for for Flyers Talk Live. But we'll be back at it tonight for Phillies game recap. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think the Flyers should do tonight. Enjoy tonight. As always, let's go Flyers.